We've seen in another video, at least you should have already seen this, how to, how to find a midpoint using the midpoint formula, how to find the midpoint between two points using the midpoint shortcut method. And now I'm going to show you one more method, and that's finding the midpoint with a graph. So we're, we're assuming that you're getting a question on a test or a quiz or a homework assignment asking you to find the midpoint of a line segment and they give you the line segment on a graph like you see right here in this example. Um, go ahead and turn in your intro to IM2 flipbook, turn to section number two. The part that we're filling out is the bottom flap of section number two, the left side only. And I have titled this midpoint with the graph. So again, if you're given a line segment on a graph, you can use this method for finding the midpoint. Now you don't have to use this method. You can use the midpoint formula. If you take a look at this graph and just figure out the coordinates for A, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 4, so negative 4, positive 4. B is positive 2, negative 1. You can just plug those coordinates into the midpoint formula and you'd be fine. You would be able to solve it that way. But there's a little faster way when the points are on a graph. I'm going to show you these steps, write these down in your flipbook, and then I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. So step number one for finding a midpoint with a graph is create a right triangle. This looks a lot like finding the distance between two points with the graph. So first thing you do is you create a right triangle. We'll do that in a moment. Second step is mark the middle of the horizontal leg. So the leg of the right triangle that's horizontal, meaning it's, it's uh, drawn from left to right. It goes left to right. We're going to mark the middle of that horizontal leg. And the last step is draw a vertical line through the point found in step two. The intersection is the midpoint of the segment. So that might seem a little kind of weird or doesn't make sense, but you'll see when I do it that it makes uh, pretty good sense and it's pretty easy to do. So if you need to pause the video for a moment and finish writing these steps, go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and continue with how to apply these three steps. So here's our example question. What is the midpoint of segment AB? What is the midpoint of segment AB? Well, the first step says to create a right triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and draw the vertical leg. I'm going to draw the horizontal leg. Get that exact. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and mark this as a right triangle. Here's our right triangle. So I create a right triangle. Next step, mark the middle of the horizontal legs. Let's do that. Now, in order to do that, we have to know how long the horizontal leg is, or how, what's the distance of the horizontal leg. I'm going to count that, starting from the right angle right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six units long. That means the middle of this is going to be at 3 units, or 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to make a mark right here on my horizontal leg. Step 2 is done. Step number 3, draw a vertical line through the point found in step 2. So I'm going to do that right now. Just take some accuracy if you're doing this on a test. Use a ruler or a straight edge. Make your line nice and straight straight up from that point. I'll go ahead and adjust this in a moment to make sure it is exactly through that point. Let me adjust this over a little bit, so straight up and down. And there we go. I have drawn a vertical line through the point found in step two. Step three says the intersection is the midpoint of the segment. When it says intersection, that means the intersection with our line segment AB. And here is our intersection right here. Here. Let's mark that. I'll change colors here. Here is our intersection. Right there is the exact midpoint of segment AB. Now, you're going to have to write down the coordinates for that. And if we do that over here, we can find those fairly easy. 
you can see that the y value, oh, sorry, the x value, here's 0, 0, the origin, the x value is negative 1. But what's the y value? Now take a look at the y value. We know it's positive because we're moving up, but it's more than 1 and less than 2. And you can see that point appears to fall exactly in between the second the first unit and the second unit. So it is, the coordinates for this midpoint are negative 1 in the x-axis and positive 1.5 on the y-axis. 1.5 on the y-axis. Now again, if you want to just check this theory out, class, if you find the coordinates for A and the coordinates for B and use either the midpoint formula or the midpoint shortcut, you're going to find you're going to get this exact same answer. The midpoint will be at negative 1, 1.5.